as the Zimbabwe Senate was discussing the proposed labor law amendments that have divided labor, business and government yesterday, not far away from the house, a textile company was getting rid of more than 200 people. To date, an estimated 25,000 Zimbabweans have lost their jobs. Economists blame the economy while labor blames a Supreme Court ruling last month that allowed Zimbabwean employers to fire workers by giving them only three months notice with no redundancy pay. Out. Jafet Moyo is the secretary of the Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Unions, ZCTU. He joins us on the line from Harare. Good evening, Jafet, and thank you so much for joining us. Now, we understand that textile firm David Whitehead on Thursday fired more than 242 workers as the Senate was discussing the Labour Amendment Bill. Was this another case in point with regards to the companies taking advantage of the changes in the Labour law? Thank you very much uh, for attending to us. Um, this afternoon we received uh, information that uh, the municipality of Chinoy, this is the local authority, they have laid off over 200 people. So there might be other instances or other cases which are not yet reported where the companies, I think, um, are taking advantage that uh, the law has not been fined. Therefore, they can still capitalize and get away with it. Now, Jaffet, are there any other companies that are planning retrenchments that you know of? Not at, not at all. Um, it would appear like um, many, many employers in Zimbabwe are taking workers by surprise. No one has indicated uh, with the clear notice that uh, this is the action uh, workers are nearly um, faced with uh, letters as they report for duty or they are ambushed as they are on their daily work. So no notice is given up front as to this is what the company is doing, but the people are not confronted with uh, termination letters. So we don't know by tomorrow which company is going to be recruiting people. Uh, this evening we had an experience of uh, the electricity company retrenching the leader of the trade union. Out of 1,500 workers in a workstation, they captured one leader of the union. So obviously the law also is being used to destabilize organized labor. Now, Jaffet, economists seem to, seem to say or think that this is an economic problem. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? We agree that uh, I think we are dealing with symptoms. Employers who are chasing away workers thinking that uh, their companies are going to wake up, get up, and uh, function properly, I think they are mistaken. We should be looking at the root cause. The root cause is the fundamentals. Are we attractive enough as a nation to attract whether local investors or foreign investors? I don't think we are attractive enough. The country is still having what we call the risk factors, policy inconsistency. So I think the issue of chasing our work is not going to resolve the challenges we are facing as a country. Are more issues to be now Jaffet briefly where to from here obviously the government has to change uh, its direction in terms of how they deal really with the, the politics of the country we are in a career country as I speak to you uh, the police have not responded to our notification to stop, obviously, the freedom of rights, freedom of association to increase. Jeff, so as, as a country, we have not moved away from how we have been perceived by those who want to invest in our country. As a country, we have not moved away from uh, a career state. Jaffet, uh, Jaffet, Jaffet, unfortunately we have to leave it there for now. That was Jaffet Moyo, Secretary General of the Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Unions, ZCTU, joining us from Harare.